ஹாய் ஹலோ நமஸ்தே வெல்கம் டு எய்ம்ஸ் டேட் டு சக்ஸஸ் யூடியூப் சேனல் டுடே ஐ வாண்ட் டு டிஸ்கஸ் வித் யூ மேத்தமேட்டிக்ஸ் டு பி ஹைபர்போலா வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் டூ மார்க் ரிலேட்டட் கொஷன் ஐ வாண்ட் டு டிஸ்கஸ் வித் யூ ஃபஸ்ட் ப்ராப்ளம் ஈஸ் இஃப் இ ஈவன் ஆர் த eccentricities of a hyperbola eccentricities of a hyperbola and its conjugate hyperbola then show that 1 by e square plus 1 by e1 square is equals to 1 this is the question from hyperbola my dear students so first of all according to the given problem hyperbola eccentricity e is equals to under root a square plus b square by a square it is the hyperbola of the it is eccentricity of the hyperbola so squaring on both sides we get e square is equal to square and root the remaining value is a square plus b square by a square from this according to question i wanted to take reciprocal that is 1 by e square is equals to numerator and denominator both are interchanging we get a square by a square plus b square this is for hyperbola only okay next uh, we will take a conjugate hyperbola that is e1 is equal to under root a square plus b square by b square it is for conjugate hyperbola so squaring on both sides we get e1 square is equal to a square plus b square by b square now according to question i am writing reciprocal that is 1 by e1 square is equal to numerator and denominator interchanging we get b square by a square plus b square this is a conjugate hyperbola so next uh, we can take a uh, lhs required to proving value lhs is 1 by e square plus 1 by e1 square is equal to 1 by e square value is a square divided by a square plus b square plus 1 by e1 square value is b square by a square plus b square from these two values we are having lcm is a square plus b square both are matching so numerator value is a square plus b square numerator and denominator both are same value so we can cancel it a square plus b square get cancelled the remaining answer is 1 this is rhs so i hope you understand my dear students according to this concept i want to tell you same to same one more important problem now 
I am erasing this and I can write next problem. This is useful for both competitive exam and board exam Telangana, Andhra Pradesh also CBSC and CRT also. So my dear students now I am writing similar problem <coughs> if the eccentricity of a hyperbola is 5 by 4 then find the eccentricity of its conjugate hyperbola they have given for us eccentricity of the hyperbola we can find eccentricity of its conjugate hyperbola so according to previous concept formula is 1 by e square plus 1 by e1 square is equals to 1 this is the formula my dear students according to the problem given eccentricity of the hyperbola is 5 by 4 so now i am taking same as usual e squaring on both side e square is equals to 5 by 4 whole square that is 5 5 are 25 divided by 4 4 are 16 but we are having 1 by e square value so squaring completed next we can take reciprocal that is 1 by e square equals to numerator is going to denominator denominator is going to numerator so zigzag 16 by 25 is 1 by e square so substituting here my dear students so now i am taking 1 by e1 square value why because we, we want to find this one so this part coming into this side 1 minus 1 by e square that is 1 minus 1 by e square value is 16 by 25 so 1 means 1 by 1 so can i take lcm my dear students yes 25 is lcm cross multiply 25 ones are 25 minus 16 ones are 16 25 minus 16 is 9 divided by 25 so 1 by e1 square is 1 by e1 whole square we can write it 9 by 25 is 3 by 5 whole square so square square get cancelled next 1 by e1 is 3 by 5 but we wanted to find a eccentricity of its conjugate hyperbola eccentricity of its conjugate hyperbola means e1 is equal to that is reciprocal 3 by 5 reciprocal is 5 by 3 so e1 is eccentricity of its conjugate hyperbola i hope you understand my dear students if you practice like this concept wise questions you will get concept as as usual marks also so be prepare very well and uh, get marks thank you take care bye bye